If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. Attack is the secret of defense, defense is the planning of an attack. Thus the expert in battle moves the enemy, and is not moved by him. Attack him where he is unprepared, appear where you are not expected. When one treats people with benevolence, justice, and righteousness, and reposes confidence in them, the army will be united in mind and all will be happy to serve their leaders. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you, this will diminish his enthusiasm. If quick, I survive. If not quick, I am lost. This is death. Knowing the enemy enables you to take the offensive, knowing yourself enables you to stand on the defensive. To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. If ignorant both of your enemy and yourself, you are certain to be in peril. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. The general who advances without coveting fame and retreats without fearing disgrace, whose only thought is to protect his country and do good service for his sovereign, is the jewel of the kingdom. Move not unless you see an advantage, use not your troops unless there is something to be gained, fight not unless the position is critical. He will win who, prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. Plan for what it is difficult while it is easy, do what is great while it is small. Begin by seizing something which your opponent holds dear, then he will be amenable to your will. Water shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows. The soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. Disorder came from order, fear came from courage, weakness came from strength. Thank you for watching.